Hello everyone, I have developed an ECT analyzer based on TinyML using HTML software. And one of the major advantages is its portability, so that this module uh, can be ported in any microcontrollers. One of the global problem was increase in fatality rate due to cardiac arrest. I have done a very short survey on the reasons for the fatality rate. Uh, in a rural areas, there was a lack of healthcare facilities and also among the people, there was a lack of awareness about cardiac arrest syndrome, which leads to fatality. And in the present market, if you look at the ECG analyzer device, all the ECG analyzer device has a dependency on an internet or a high processing computer application or a mobile application. In many developing nations, still LCAT facilities and internet facility is not accessible to everyone. More specifically to rural areas, still it's a questionable one. I want to break all this gap, so I have developed an ECG analyzer which has no dependency on internet or any high computer applications. So it can be easily portable in any microcontrollers and uh, it will be easy to use like a normal digital thermometer. This ECG analyzer will predict the atrial fibrillation, AV block 1 and normal. This algorithm will run for a one minute of time and it will displace the uh, rate of each uh, cases. For example, if you are a normal person, there is no deviation, it will display as a normal as 99 to 100%. Which. If there is any deviation in your ECG, if it predicts atrial fibrillation, it will predict and it will display as the atrial fibrillation rate. ECG graph, it will be almost similar to all the ECG conditions like uh, atrial fibrillation, normal or first day of block. So, I have achieved an accuracy which was very less than 23%. So in order to improve the reliability and the quality of the model, I have approached a different kind of mechanism which I have decided to convert a human observation into a data set. That's how I have increased the accuracy and also a reliability of my ECG analyzer model. So for example, when you're trying to person analyze the ECG graph, they will be counting the small boxes between the R2 or waves and P2 or interval. So this was the human observation. So what I have done was I just converted that human observation into a data set. So uh, like I have decoded my normal ECG data into a three different ways. It will be a normal ECG data and uh, R2 or interval and P or interval. So based on this, uh, the quality of the data sets was increased. In a HTML software, I have collected a data for a three different conditions as a normal first degree heart block which I have called as a AV block 1 and an atrial fibrillation case. So we can look at the, all the data sets here. I have collected in this ratio as a normal as a major one and uh, the atrial fibrillation for a 2 minutes 20 second data. And uh, I have trained this model in a impulse and I have achieved more than 90% so you can look at the accuracy level you can see that uh, there will be a slight deviation between the first degree of block and the normal and uh, atrial fibrillation was 100% and also i have tested this model using some 92 days cases and uh, based on that my accuracy level was 97.30 percentage if you want to simulate different ecg data uh, for a testing purpose or for training the modules you can set it as one and also I have added the buffer so you can see I have added a different uh, data buffer which will be more specific to atrial fibrillation or a normal ECG data or AV block 1 so you can use it for testing or you can use it just for uh, training your model